So in walking around my property, I have tree peonies kind of situated everywhere. And I had uh, just taken a video of um, a tree peony that I had in my driveway. And as I was looking out on my lawn, I noticed this one was open. I was not home yesterday, um, but I looked at this one Saturday morning and it did not even look like it was ready to be open yet. So I was kind of shocked to see this brilliant pink across my lawn. This, um, I apologize, I am absolutely not going to say this correctly. I believe this one is Shimanishigi. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm saying that incorrectly. Let's see if I can keep my head out of it. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep pink. And then, as you can see, it's got some white on some of the petals, not all of them. This tree peony, I have had for probably about six years. It didn't bloom last year. Um, and the only reason I know that is because I've never actually had this one bloom. I didn't realize I had this one until I just now saw the color of it. Um, and this one has, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, an unopened bud, five, Another one that's opening back here, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buds on this plant that has never bloomed before. It's, I love tree peonies. Absolutely, I mean, every shape, color, form, I don't care. Um, I would say this one, it's not one of my favorites. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Absolutely beautiful, and it's obviously supremely happy. It's been sitting in the same spot for six years, so I don't know what changed. Um, I did dig some um, other stuff kind of out around its roots, and I really need to do some maintenance in this flower bed. As you can tell, there's mint you know growing down below but there was some other stuff in here and I dug it out so maybe I just basically gave um the roots room to do their thing or whatever they needed to do but absolutely beautiful so this one we'll call this one um I'm going to go ahead and put its name in the description but this will be tree peony number two and I have another one opening up um kind of over by my vegetable garden and we'll go take a look at that one in a minute but isn't that beautiful it's amazing how quickly they can just decide that they're gonna bloom and and really Saturday it, all the buds Saturday look like this one so I'm absolutely shocked and I can see that yeah it looks like pink at the base I don't know if you can see that but um but none of them were even open, even like this, because I did not know what color this was. We lived at this property nine years, and I brought 27 tree peony with me when we moved here. And I know I've lost some, because um, I also had about 45 herbaceous peonies that I brought with me, um, which over are, a couple of them are over there. I don't know if you can see... There's a couple there, and there's another one right there. Um, this flower bed really needs some attention. It's kind of close to our uh, a, a pasture next door, or a meadow, or whatever you call it. And it's just blows in grass and weeds and all kinds of stuff. So every year, after we eat this, and I do that by hand, <laughs> it's not my favorite task, and I have. The weather hasn't been great here, so I haven't even started this really yet. Actually, a little bit I did. I started on Saturday. Um, you can see I spent about a half hour, and I only got that little section cleared out. But anyway, so um, I need to get over here and clean this up. 
but I came here with 27 tree peonies and I think 45 herbaceous peonies and I've lost some. Um, this one was not one. I've kept an eye on it throughout the years. Here's another herbaceous that's going to bloom this year. And so every year it's kind of interesting as they'll bloom. You know, when you transplant a tree peony, they're not their happiest unless you just find that magical sweet spot of where they love to go. And then from then on out, they'll be happy. And I've had a couple of those. Um, but I've, I've waited a long time for this one to bloom, but I think it's only been in here six years. I had it in a pot. It is one of the ones that came with me again, never bloomed. I bought this one. Now, as I'm looking at it, um, at a little <coughs> garden, um, sale in my town. There was a lady who had tree peonies and she, um, grew them from seed, I think. And I bought this one 10 or 11 years ago. And it was just a little bitty, like two year old seedling. So very excited as I'm mentally going back to the history of this plant. This is the first time it's bloomed. Love it. Very happy. I had originally thought to move this one and when I saw the buds start in on it um, a couple of months ago, I decided I was just going to leave this one alone. And I'm glad I did now. Um, a lot of my other ones I moved just trying to find them happier places. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is my one of my tree peonies, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that again. Thanks.